Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I actually want to talk to you guys about GTA and the news recently about certain rape mods and bad publicity that has been going on. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about that and my opinions as well. So again, if you do like the video or find the information helpful, please feel free to drop a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. This isn't going to be a necessarily a rant video, but I just want to talk about what's going on and my opinions about how GTA has been being portrayed lately in the public eye. So again, let's get the video started. So recently, GTA has been in the news on some pretty major websites and pretty major uh, news channels. Like, I, I know that the Daily Mail covered this. I know that Fox News covered this. So when you get to those, like, big stations like that, you know that something particularly negative has happened. You rarely see, like, a Fox News or a Daily Mail talk about how great a game like Grand Theft Auto V is and, you know, how great it, it instills moral values into players and to people. So typically when a big company or a big station like that mentions it, it's typically never a good thing or they're never portraying a positive spin to this story. And, of course, this time they're talking about the rape mod that has been going around and that has been, you know, an infecting Grand Theft Auto online lobbies. And I want to talk about a few of the misconceptions that have been going on and my opinion on that as well because I am very passionate about this I not only play Grand Theft Auto 5 for fun but it's also part of my livelihood and something that I'm striving to do every day and, and it's something that I like creating content for you guys so when I see that it's published in a bad light it really kind of puts me off a little bit so I kind of want to set the story straight for a lot of you guys that might have some ideas twisted or something like that so again these are all my opinions taken with a grain of salt but of course I just want to tell you guys what I am feeling and what I am thinking as well so basically the articles that I've read have essentially said that like a rape mod has been going around. Players are able to rape other players free and willingly and like everyone has access to that. And it's essentially corrupting an already bad game, if you can see my air quotes, in Grand Theft Auto V. And it's exposing children to stuff like this. And first off, there's a ways to get around this. This isn't something that everyone has public access to. It was from a few modders that uh, you know recently released this. It is no longer in existence that I know of right now. It was just several instances that have been published in a bad light. It's like the bad cop that, you know, accidentally knocks the kid over, but the 99 good cops that help the old ladies walk across the street are never published. It's sort of an article like this. And so it's not available to everyone. This mod doesn't exist in the public light. It's not like if this happens to you, your child is stuck and is forced to watch this happen. There are alternative methods to leaving. No one is forced to just like sit here and watch this happen to them. And it's kind of like when people blame Grand Theft Auto V and other games like Call of Duty for, for bad things that happen. So like school shootings or if someone decides to get in a car rampage and you know run over an entire parking lot of people, they always assume, hey, let's go check you know his computer and oh, if we found Grand Theft Auto, you know, that's the reason right there. You know, he's playing that bad Grand Theft Auto game and, you know, it allowed him to think that running over people, there's no repercussions, whatever, allows him to get off scotch free. And it, it's simply not the case. So it's kind of the idea of like the slippery slope that one thing leads to another. And it's simply not true with Grand Theft Auto V and other games like that. So if someone is deranged enough to go up to a school and shoot up a bunch of people in there or deranged enough to steal a car and, you know, run over a parking lot of people, a game like Grand Theft Auto V isn't going to encourage them to do that anymore. It's already set into their brain that that is OK. And not a third party game like GTA is going to make that any more acceptable. That would just be like me going to McDonald's of getting a hamburger and saying, hey, this hamburger has now convinced me that it is okay to go run over a, a, you know, a parking lot full of people. It, it, it just doesn't apply like that. And there's also blame on other people. If you don't want your parents or you don't want your kids to see something like that happen, well, you shouldn't have bought them a game like Grand Theft Auto V in the first place. There's a reason it does have the rated M for Mature on there. And of course, this rape mod was taken from a sex scene animation from the campaign. So if you don't want your kids exposed to that in the first place you shouldn't have bought that that'd be like me buying my future son who was 15 at the time and he just got his driver license hey son here's you know your lamborghini aventador have fun and then a week later he comes back to me and says hey dad i've crashed it well whose fault is that the 15 year old with you know very little experience on the road or the adult who bought him a super italian sports car that has the potential to go up to you know 200 miles an hour so i know it's just a really bad example or kind of a, a different example of what i'm trying to get at here but Grand Theft Auto V cannot be to blame for this. Is the modification that, you know, the rapish animation there, yes, it's a bad thing. It puts GTA V in a really bad light, and it's spun in a horrible way. 
But at the end of the day, it's not Rockstar's responsibility. It's not Grand Theft Auto V's responsibility for either A, people being exposed to this or, you know, people doing terrible things in a result to this. Because it's not like someone is sitting here forcing you to say, hey, watch this. You are forced to watch this happen. Grab your popcorn and grab your soda. You're forced to watch this happen. No, you can either leave, you can turn off your console, or you can do whatever, or you cannot allow your eight or nine year old or however you know old your child is to be exposed to this by simply not allowing them to have the game. You know, there's ratings for a reason. There is parent discretion for a reason. If you think your kid isn't responsible enough to play a game like Grand Theft Auto V, you shouldn't let him have it. And if he shouldn't be, if you don't think he's ready enough to be exposed to something like that. You shouldn't let them have it. So that's at the end of the day, I, I think that's it. I know I'm going on a little bit of a rant here, but it's a topic that's kind of close to my heart because when I used to play uh, Call of Duty and there was also the, you know, the shootings in the news, everyone would say, boom, it's that bad Call of Duty game. That's the reason. You know, it's never the, the parent's fault or it's never the, you know, the environment that he grew up in or it's never the fact that you ignored signs that he was maybe not all there mentally uh, together for the longest time. It's always the video game's fault. It's always the, you know, it's it's the scapegoat. Everyone throws the scapegoat on Grand Theft Auto and on Call of Duty and these other, you know, M-rated games that, for the most part, do things that you probably shouldn't do, like steal cars and, you know, shoot people in real life because there are repercussions. But at the end of the day, it's the person's, you know, requirement and it's the person's, you know, supposed knowledge to know that that is a video game and that those repercussions do not apply the same in real life. So I know that's kind of a far-fetched example and i know i'm really ranting on right here and i should probably end this video but again like i said it's a topic that i'm very passionate about when you get me on a passionate topic i'm probably going to talk about it for a little bit so again let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below on the allocations of grand theft auto 5 does it make video game players aggressive does it make them go out and you know do school shootings and run over people i i, I want to hear from you guys because i'm very passionate about it and again i want to hear from you guys as well so again if you like the video or find whatever this information is helpful please drop a like on the video i'd really appreciate Appreciate it. Also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. And I probably won't be talking about rape in the future, but if you like topics like this, again, subscribe in the future. And I'd love to have you guys along. So, other than that, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.